What is BDCA? The plan, do, check, act, or the BDCA cycle, also known as the Demi Wheel or the Demi Cycle, is an iterative method for continual improvement of processes, products, or services, and is a key element of the lean management. Who developed the BDCA model? The PDCA model was developed in the 1950s by William Demi as a learning or improvement process based on the scientific method of problem solving. Demi himself called it by another term, the Schwartz cycle, because he created a model based on the idea from his mentor, Walter Schwartz. The PDCA cycle is a loop rather than an end-to-end -end process. The goal is to improve on each improvement in an ongoing process of learning and growth. When should you use the PDCA process? The plan, do, check. Act model is a helpful tool that can be used for a number of applications. Exploring and testing multiple solutions in a small controlled trial. Avoiding waste by catching and adapting ineffective solutions before rolling them out on a large scale. Implementing change and continuous improvement. Implementing thought of quality management or Six Sigma initiatives. Developing or improving a process. What is great about the PDCA cycle is that it can be applied across industries and organizational types. The PDCA model plan. The planning stage is for mapping out what you are going to do to try to solve a problem or otherwise change a process. During this step, you will identify and analyze the problem or opportunity for change. Develop hypotheses for what the underlying issues or causes are, and decide on one hypothesis to test first. As you plan, consider the following questions. What is the core problem you need to solve? Is this the right problem to work on? What information do we need to fully understand the problem and its root cause? Is it feasible to solve it? What resources do we need? What resources do we have? What are some viable solutions? 
What are the measures of success? How will the results from a small trial translate to a full-scale implementation? Do. The next step is to test your hypothesis. The PDCA cycle focuses on smaller, incremental changes that help improve processes within minimal disruptions. Test your hypothesis with a small-scale project, preferably in a controlled environment, so you can evaluate the results without interrupting the rest of your operation. You might want to test the solution in one team or within a certain demographic. Checked. Once you have completed your trial, it's time to review and analyze the result. This stage is important because it allows you to evaluate your solutions and revise your plans as necessary. Did the plan actually work? If so, where are there any hiccups in the process? What steps could be improved or need to be eliminated from the future iterations? Your evaluation at this stage will guide your decisions in the next step, so it is important to consider your results carefully. Act. Finally, it is time to act. If all went according to plan, you can now implement your tried and tested plan. This new process now becomes your baseline for future PDCA iterations. Consider the following questions before you act. What resources do you need to implement the solution at full scale? What training is needed for successful implementation and adaptation? How can you measure and track the performance of the solution? What opportunities are there for improvement? What have we learned that can be applied to other projects? If the plan did not pan out as expected, you can cycle back to the planning stage to make adjustments and prepare for a new trial. The PDCA cycle has a number of advantages and disadvantages. Consider both before you decide to apply plan, do, check, act to different projects. Cross, worse of time, you can use PDCA in a variety of business environments and for a number of applications. Potential use cases include project management, change management, product development, and resource management. Simple and powerful. The PSA model is simple and easy to understand, yet it is powerful drive for meaningful change and improvement while minimizing waste and increasing efficiency. Cons. Hard to do. Through the model simple. The work isn't easy because PDCA breaks process improvement into smaller steps. It can be slow and probably isn't a great solution for urgent projects. It requires commitment. PDCA is not a one-time event. It is an ongoing continuous process and therefore requires commitment and buy-in from the top down. Without committed leadership, the PDCA cycle cannot work effectively for a long term.